Alright, so welcome back to our Property Lim Brothers Landed Home Tour series. Today, we are very excited to bring you to this detached home that is right behind me. We are located at the Loyang Landed Enclave and this is District 17, free home in status. So, why don't you follow me? Let's go. This house was built in the year 2011, first owner condition. Right now it's the year 2021, so it's officially on its 10th year. It was a new build that has been fully constructed. So this house gives you 4,361 square feet of land size. It's a freehold detached status. You have a build up that's about 6,900 plus square feet that's spread across the basement level, level one, level two, and the attic zone. So officially you have four different levels. You have a lift that serves you all four different zonings in the different levels. This house gives you a basement that allows you to park three Mercedes S-Class or alternatively, you can park two S-Class with two hatchback model. Now, apart from the basement parking, you have six bedrooms, eight bath with an additional powder bath on level one. And based on what I've seen, I think this landed property has almost everything that you need in the landed home because not only do you have six huge bedrooms. You also have this 13.4 meters lab pool that's situated at the side of your house. Not only do you have a pool, a lift, basement, six huge bedrooms, you also have four different dining zones. Now you can have dining at your patio space right on level one. You have a formal living and dining space. You have a backyard area that allows you to have dining options as well. If that is not enough, you can bring your food up to level three, which is your attic level to have dining that overlooks towards the front of your house. This house is located at the Loyang Landed Enclave. So if you're familiar with the Toe Drive, Toe Close, Toe Crescent, this is the zone that we are in. We are fronting towards Upper Changi Road North. So when you drive in back home from the small two-lane road, this is where you'll head in. So you can drive all the way straight into your basement parking. There is an advantage as well because just right outside your home, there is this zone that technically nobody will drive past and it's quite a huge setback from the road itself. Now, notice there's two flights of staircase over here. So you can come back from your side gate over here and then head up to level one. Alternatively, you can also go through to basement level, take the lift straight on to level one. Now, the beauty about coming up to level one is that you get this huge amount of space right here. Awning has already been done. You also have an additional flight of staircase that allows you to come down here. This is dedicated to your pool zone. So of course, the good thing is that this is like all the wet and play area. Your kids can play here. You can also supervise them from level one. 13.4 meters in length, 3.4 width for this portion. The narrow corner is 2.1. Nice, beautiful waterfall feature right at the end. And we love the fact that this entire area is also elevated from the road line. So you do have that sense of privacy that you need. Also notice, Small little things like this, these are all tinted with the opaque version so people that are walking past along the road, they cannot technically see your house. As you come in here, other than you having this nice main door, you also have sliding panel, glass fascina doors that are located right at the front of the house so of course you can open that up. And of course, the moment you come in, you'll notice that the entire flooring from the foyer to living dining, these are all done with marble tiles. You have a nice wood paneling that's being done as a feature wall. And of course, this is the entrance area. Now, we love the fact that this main door, it does not face towards your main living and dining. So it's really a dedicated zone for your foyer area. As you come to level one, Immediately, you will see this 6.4 meters ceiling for the entire dining zone. Of course, if you want to do a mezzanine to flush this entire high ceiling, that is doable because that will then expand your family zone upstairs. Now, coming here, living room is dedicated with three different seating zones. This is a great amount of space that you have because in totality, you have close to 7,000 square feet of built-up area that spread evenly along these different four levels. And as you come to the former dining, this is already a 10-seater. You have this first layer of dry kitchen. 
It's all done with nice granite top. Very long lasting, of course, granite is a very popular material for kitchen tabletops. Induction cooker right here. You have a dedicated sink. You already have a microwave oven here. These are all brand appliance. You have a coffee machine in the middle. Conventional oven right at the bottom. Your dry kitchen has a dedicated fridge space and of course, loads of storage areas. As you come to this zone, this is your wet kitchen, squarish layout. You have another oven right here, another fridge space right here. This is the main area that the current owners are using this to wash their dishes. Open flame cooker is right here. Home shelter is here, dedicated as the areas for your supplies and everything. You also have a door that you can close if you're doing heavy cooking. As you come to the backyard, this is now also used as another cooking area which is what we call a super wet kitchen so you can really cook very heavy stuff here if you want to do like the zi cha style <laughs> you want the wok hei effect this is the place to cook because it opens up to the backyard area ventilation is great right here small little details like glass panels on the left and right side so you can contain the wind you don't allow the wind to affect you while you're cooking as you come here, this is your helper's room. If you have no living helper, that can be an additional storage room. This is the part we're talking about, the outdoor dining and the yard zone. Now let me just show you this part first. This part is shorter than the other side because the front part area is dedicated to your pool. So this can be another area for gardening. If you are not doing gardening, you can use this just as a clothes drying area as what the owners are doing right now. And then this side, an entire zone again for gardening and uh, this leads back to the front entrance. If you follow me, you'll bypass your dining area. Your side walls are beautifully maintained. We are heading back in. Alright, so now that we're back on level 1, before I head up to level 2 and 3 and the basement level, we need to chat about the locale. Now, if you're looking for a landed property in the east and you happen to be an east lover, what are the choices that you have? East side, if I'm not talking about D14, I'm not talking about the Kembangan zone, typically people will start looking at D15, which is the east coast area, upper east coast, and of course the Siglap zone. If you want to get a landed property right there, in terms of price tag, some of the brand new inter terraces they are already at about four odd million dollars now if i were to look at d15 and i eliminate d15 out of my price list uh, because perhaps you're looking at something that is at least at about four thousand plus square feet of land size you're considering either a semi-detached or maybe a detached home status then uh, you might also want to consider d16 D17 and D18. I will take out D18 first because D18 is uh, predominantly Pasir Ris and Tampanese area. That leaves you with D16 and 17. D16 will be the Tanamara zone. D17 will be the Changi, Loyang and Clave areas. So in D17, if you want to land yourself a landed property and you come to the Loyang area, the To estate area, in terms of the freehold land right here, if you want to buy something, let's say it's of a single level and then uh, you're thinking of maybe tearing it down, rebuilding yourself. This land plot right here that I'm standing in is 4,361 square feet of land size. If I multiply that by the average land price right here of $900 per square feet, that will bring me to close to about $3.9 million. And then I take the average construction cost to rebuild this at about 6,009 square feet of build-up area. That will then cost me at an average of about $300 per square feet for the average construction price and then it will bring us to about $2.1 million range. In totality, this entire home would then cost me close to about $6 million. Uh, I have not factored in rental costs to uh, put my family in for the time being or maybe additional factors such as the material. So in totality, probably that will cost me about six mil to about $6.2 million. So in order to decide, hey, should I buy something that is off the market? So this was constructed in the year 2011, asking $5.5 million negotiable. On the left-hand side is something that uh, you can rebuild yourself, spend about 24 months to rebuild something, bringing the total cost of about six to $6.2 million for a brand new property based on your own taste. Or should you buy something of this nature that's about $5.5 $5 million dollars negotiable yet at the same time you have everything that you want right here in this detached home coming back on to the numbers again later let me bring you to level two first so 
as you come to level 2, I like the position of the lift shaft area because it's right tucked in the corner with the staircase that's wrapping around the lift. I think in my opinion, this is the most efficient kind of configuration because you don't have to waste another zone just for the lift area itself. This is the part that I was mentioning about that you can apply do up an A and A, of course apply to BCA to fill up this area with a mezzanine level. This then allows you to extend your family zone. So right now the family zone over here is being used as an open gym. I think in terms of space utilization, this house has great utilization of space. The amount of building area is fantastic. Very evenly built. The master is the house that fronts towards the front. Let me show you the two bedrooms at the back first. So this is the common room with its own suite and uh, because this house is only 9 odd years old, fantastic condition. This room is now used as the study room for the kids. Nice huge windows at the side. Now, you come in here, more additional document storage zone behind the door. So it was converted from an uh, original wardrobe into this version. This is the ensuite, great condition, homogeneous tile, ceramic flooring. And as you come here, there are more storage options right here for books, for assessment books. I think this zone is really for your kids. Now, if you come in here, this is another common room that is ensuite as well. Three panels of wardrobe flushes the walkway without jutting up into the walkway space. Nice, huge ensuite standing shower with long bath, dual sink. That's seldom seen in a junior master. Pretty unique, okay, pretty good. Nice huge room, queen bed, dressing table there. And as you come out, you have a nice huge walkway. Super big master. I think it's your own little cave here. You have your own little mini living room, your own work desk here, your resting area, your reading area. There's another work desk table right here. And then you come in here. have a U-shaped open wardrobe system inside an enclosed walk-in wardrobe area that is enclosable with a sliding panel door, centerpiece for all your dressing accessories. Then you come in. Now this is a legit one. Dual sink, big, huge, ensuite, standing shower here, just like in the hotel with a black galaxy version of tiles at the back. Long bath, nice hotel feel kind of tiles on the wall. All right, so before we head up to level three, let's uh, have a look at some of our PLB landed nuggets. Now, why are home shelters needed? Now, a household shelter is required only for redevelopment cases. The minimum size of a household shelter is at about 1.2 meters of internal clear width. The minimum height is 2.4 meters. Maximum height, 3.9 meters. And the maximum area is 4.8 square meters. Guess how much is the construction cost? $20,000 estimated. Now, nugget number two. This house has close to about 200 plus lighting points. And because of that, the owners has upgraded the electricity power to phase three power. Now, nugget number three. How do you qualify the land to be a detached status? Now, a detached needs to have a minimum plot width of 10 meters. Now, this land itself is at about 30.4 meters in terms of depth, 13 meters in terms of plot width. And of course, the land size is 4,361 square feet. So this is a detached plot. Now, with that, let's head up to level three. All right, so welcome to level three. This is of course called the attic level, but of course you can consider it as level three. Fantastic place for you to come here and chill out with your family, play board games on this huge table. You have a nice TV console here, powder room right here. And of course, you have additional storage zone here. I love the fact that there's this wall line here for you to put additional, it can be a bookshelf, it can be a nice countertop like this. 
And this is, of course, one of the two bedrooms that's located on level three, the attic level. Now, all the bathrooms, you do not have to spend any money to renovate. So all tip-top condition, Daikin aircons throughout. This is a room that you can put up to a queen bed. Wardrobes is already done with built-in study tables. It can be your kid's room. It can be also be your home office. And another beautiful room right here. Oh my goodness, the en suites are all very nicely maintained. I love the condition of the wall tiles. I love this small little details like this. You come out of the bathroom, you have this nice black towel here so that you don't immediately step out with a wet feet even though you have a carpet right there or a floor mat there but sometimes the moisture gets absorbed into the parquet. So that is an additional safety. Um, wardrobes. I love the fact that the layout is all cleverly planned because most of the wardrobes I see, they're all tucked within the wall line. It doesn't jut out into the space. Of course, platform bed, a lot of storage options. Right over there, this is a fantastic kids' room. Because for those of you who have kids, put your pianos here, organs here, drum sets, three to four different study tables for your kids to have their tuition, do their homework right here. This is the bonus, oh my goodness. This is the place I'm telling you, the fourth dining space is beautiful. Nice glass out with a remote automated awning system right at the roofing. If it's a hot day, you can close that up. Uh, if it's a cooling day, of course you can come up here, you can open that up, look at the stars in the evening. Right opposite, uh, these are mainly tree lines, greenery view. And of course, along the Upper Changi Road North, this is a stretch that you have that very nice chapel at the corner there, the dining options. As you head down in future when Park Como is done, there's going to be a 20 over shops right there. And of course, if you head down this direction, you get Changi Village, F&B options, cafes are sprouting out along the Changi V zone. Now this is beautiful. You can have dining here, you can do your work here, you can chill out here. Nice swing chair, bean bags, and of course, there are also blinds that are already done at the front panel. So this is a beautiful feature that you can have. I think level three definitely will also be one of the places that your family spends the most time after dinner or weekends. And I think you should definitely try out the lift. Now that we're in the lift, I'm going to bring you to the basement level. Now, a little bit of quick facts about the lift is that you do have to sign a contract on a few different things. One is to do a monthly lift maintenance. Of course, that will be probably about hundred odd dollars per month. You also need to renew the permit annually and of course have inspection done annually. That is part of the safety portion for lift. And then as you come to the basement level, this is a place for you to park three huge cars. And then this is the part that I want to show you because this is the place you can store all your tools. Oh my goodness, look at this. It's tucked within the wall line. Pretty deep. You come here, you have like this 12 panels of shoe cabinetry space. It's like, oh my goodness, it's all shoes, 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 shoes. And then you come here, you have this entire L-shaped wall of storage space and I'm going to show you why these storage space are important because you can like put in tons of storage here. This entire basement already pre-fed for you. Beautiful storage space. Just chuck everything right here. All your shoes are taken care of. Your garage two sets are all taken care of. And of course, the most important thing is that I love the overall price tag because of the fact that this is at 5.5 million dollars. If you are an ease lover, you want to keep your quantum for a detached home within 5 million dollars, I think this house is almost perfect because it's uh, nicely built, you don't have to do anything. And uh, I think most importantly, this home is right fronting towards the southeast direction. No afternoon sun coming in from the front part, the back is northwest and most importantly, the land depth, land width is just about right. 4,361 square feet of land size, close to 7,000 square feet of build up. Come and have a look at this place. Click on the link right down below for more detailed information. The number to reach our listings manager is right here. You can contact George Ping and Reggie for a viewing appointment. Of course, once again, my name is Melvin Lim. Thank you for staying us throughout for the Landed Home Tour series. I'm from Property Lim Brothers. Take care and see you soon. Level 2 is beautiful because the moment you come up, of 
Because your lift shaft is tucked right to the corner, Alec. Oh my goodness, Bing. Please hide. 